What I do in my films is very, oh, I think very distinctively, I think they are the films of a woman, and I think that their characteristic time quality is the time quality of a woman. I think that the strength of men is their great sense of immediacy. They are a now creature, and a woman has strength to wait, because she's a hand to wait. She has to wait nine months for the concept of a child. Time is built into her body in the sense of becomingness. And she sees everything in terms of it being in the stage of becoming. She raises a child knowing not what it is at any moment, but seeing always the person that it will become. Her whole life from her very beginning, it's a built into her, is the sense of becoming. Now, in any time form, this is a very important sense. I think that my films, putting as much stress as they do upon the constant metamorphosis, one image is always becoming another. That is, it is what is happening that is important in my films, not what is at any moment. This is a woman's time sense, and I think it happens more in my films than in almost anyone else's. I am not greedy. I do not seek to possess the major portion of your days. I am content if, on those rare occasions whose truth can be stated only by poetry, you will, perhaps, recall an image, even only the aura of my films. Their goddess of love is a very fascinating and complex idea. She is, in fact, goddess of all the luxuries which are not essential to survival. She is the goddess of love which, unlike sex, is not essential to propagation. She is the muse of the arts. Now, man can live without it, but he doesn't live very much as man. It is strange that one would have to go to an apparently primitive culture, such as Haiti, to find an understanding in such exalted terms of what the essential feminine, not female, feminine role might conceivably be, that of being everything which is human, everything which is more than that which is necessary. Taken from this point of view, there is no reason in the world why women should not be artists and very fine ones. Before I was a filmmaker, and I was a very poor poet, because I thought, in terms of images, what existed as a, essentially a visual experience in my mind, poetry was an effort to put it into verbal terms. When I got a camera in my hand, it was like coming home. It was like doing what I always wanted to do without the need to translate it into a verbal form. What is important in a motion picture camera, of course, is its motor. Just remember that motion picture is a time form. Just as the telescope reveals the structure of matter in a way that the unaided eye can never see it, so slow motion reveals the structure of motion, events that occur rapidly so that they seem a continuous flux are revealed in slow motion to be full of pulsations and agonies and indecisions and repetitions.